Oh, we're filming already? That was an accident. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, Jesus. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Stop it, what the hell is happening? Hey, this video is about winter hair care with Maya Organics. In the winter, our hair is more sensitive than ever. Afro hair is already really fragile, but it has to deal with even more elements in the winter, such as cold weather, low humidity outside, central heating, and then drier air inside because of that central heating. I prep for winter wash days by massaging my scalp with the Rosemary Mint Scalp Oil. It's infused with rosemary, mint and biotin and it feels amazing on your scalp. I leave this for a few hours to marinate and then I get ready to detangle my hair. The next step, pre-poo. The Moisture RX Moisturising Overnight Conditioner is great because it has a wonderful texture which makes it really easy to detangle my hair. I always try to detangle my hair before I get in the shower because it just makes things much easier to handle. Usually I use my Denman brush to detangle my hair. It's no fun, but it has to be done. I do my best to be gentle. I start at the ends and slowly work my way up to the top and then twist each section. I keep my hair in these sections even when I'm washing it. The sections mean that I can get to my scalp easily and that I can clean each part of my hair efficiently. I personally think this is a better way to wash because I don't end up tangling all my hair together after spending so much time detangling it. Now all the knots are gone, I can get ready to go in the shower and wash my hair. I wash my hair with the Rosemary Mint Shampoo. Its creamy texture means it's not too drying, but it really does clean your scalp and has a nice tingly feeling. Like I said, I wash my hair in sections. I just did this for the video. But um, now my hair's clean and it's time to moisturize. The first thing I apply is the pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner. This has a really nice creamy texture and is light but amazingly moisturizing. Next, I add a generous layer of the pomegranate and honey curl smoothie. This creamy texture, which is a bit heavier than the leave-in, locks in all the moisture. As you can see, I'm fairly generous with how much product I add. I do this because I don't like to re-moisturize my hair throughout the week, especially in the winter, because I don't want my hair to be wet in the cold weather. I apply it generously and then lay it on the next product before brushing it all through my brush. I finger detangle the leave-in a little bit before I add a layer of the smoothie, which is heavier and locks in the moisture. I think I said that already though. Then I bring in my brush and detangle again. For me, making sure that all the tangles are gone is really important, so I focus on this throughout all of the process. Next, yes, next, I add to the product, the pomegranate and honey coil sculpting custard. This is a lightweight gel-like texture and it adds deep definition. The curl custard is the finishing touch in the trio of the pomegranate and honey products. I warm it up in my hands, smooth it over my hair, and again, brush it through. Once this is all done, I retwist all my hair, put it up in a bun and cover it in a plastic cap. This gives it a greenhouse effect, which lets all the products soak in, which normally in the winter weather doesn't happen as naturally because it's so cold. After all the products are soaked in, I glaze over my hair with a gel and shingle it. And that's pretty much it. Magic. Just like magic, just like magic. Okay, maybe it's not quite magic. It takes a while, but let me explain how I get to the final result. These are my results after I let my hair air dry for a day and then blow dried the roots just to take off that last bit of dampness. I'd say it's about 90% dry now. I try my best not to go out with my hair wet and it's a part of protecting it from the elements at this time of year. I also think that not picking your hair and fluffing or separating it too much also helps. So I would say that these are my best tips for protecting your hair at this time of year and I hope that you'll try some of the products I mentioned. Enjoy this 360 view of my hair and make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Bye! No really, hit that subscribe.